In this video, I am going to provide you with an example of what your stair stringers could look like if they were off by as little as a sixteenth of an inch per riser. So let's just say that you figure out, uh, you, you get the total rise of the height between the floors, the top of the first floor to the top of the second floor you do the math and uh, you come up with a fraction and you just kind of round it off uh, to maybe a, an eighth of an inch when you should have rounded it off to a sixteenth of an inch um, uh, so hopefully you'll get this will make more sense of what actually happens to the stairway by the time you're done with the video so what I'm going to start with are three different stringers this stringer here has a seven and a half inch riser height individual riser height. Each individual riser is seven and a half inches. This one is going to be a sixteenth of an inch larger, seven and nine sixteenths. This one here is going to be a sixteenth of an inch larger than this one, seven and five eighths. So we got three different stringers and the um, same length. And I'm actually going to use the center stringer for our experiment. So this line right here lines up with the center stringer and the top of the floor is going to be lining up with the center stringer. So here we can see where there is a difference. There are seven risers. So we actually have seven sixteenths of an inch, almost a half inch. Eight sixteenths of an inch is a half inch. So this one here that is a little taller is going to be, or has the risers that are a little taller, is going to be a little taller. And this one here, of course, is going to be a little smaller. But without you knowing what's going on, you're going to end up taking the stair stringer and nailing it to the top of a ledger or the top of a floor like this. And, um, and actually, you're going to end up with a gap at the top of this one and you're going to end up with a gap at the bottom of this one. We can see the gap here because now we are at two different angles. So each one of these risers, I mean each one of these stair stringers has a different angle. The one that is seven and a half inches is a 37.5 this one here, uh, the center one, 37.1, and then this one here, 36.9. So just kind of remember those measurements. I can, I'll can remind them again later when I bring up another point when I go to longer stringers. So here we have a gap at the front, and it's tight at the back of this one. Another view of it there. Hopefully that makes sense. And of course it does with the angle, if you think about the angle. And you can also see that this, even though we haven't changed our tread measurements, these are exactly 10 inches, it's going to push this out a little bit. Now, when I'm saying this, these are computer-aided um, drawings, and uh, they're usually not wrong. And uh, this is something I remember come running into on job sites. If I didn't cut the stringer the right height, I mean, the, the risers didn't figure them out correctly. Precisely, exactly precise measurements for the risers. They've got to be, if this comes to, um, you know, like I said here, if this is seven and a half inches and, um, or seven and nine sixteenths is the measurement you should be using, but you use seven and a half inches, you're going to end up with this. And, and you're going to be wondering why in the heck is this thing off? I think I checked this and it was off, um, I want to say almost a half inch. I think I checked, I, I think we'll have a, have a measurement on that in a little bit. Now, of course, here we have a gap on the back of this one. So the gap on the front of the other one, the one with a seven and a half inch rise, we have a gap in the back. And of course, this is what you're going to be looking for. You set your stringers in and you have a gap in the front or the back, Grab the level, check the treads, and see if they're actually level or if there's a problem with your um, calculations on your individual riser heights and you might have made a mistake when you were laying it out. Either way, you're going to make, you make a mistake through the math or you make a mistake when you figure the total rise or you make a mistake when you are laying out the stair stringers. This could be a problem. 
Now I went ahead and I drew a level line and um, this I believe was about a sixteenth of an inch. But if I if we level a line across this one, this one here is going to be level. This is what we figured the height and everything works out correctly for the center stringer. This one here, the stair treads are going to be leaning forward. The one on the other side is going to be leaning backwards. So again, this isn't difficult to figure out. You know, you put the level on here, you, uh, you, you're out of whack, something's not right, double check all your measurements. Now this is where I actually learned something. I thought that these measurements would have changed. It's still about a sixteenth of an inch here, sloping backwards. And of course this is a longer stairway. The degrees of these um, stair stringers have not changed at all. And if you think about it, they shouldn't have. It's the same rise and the same tread height, um, just multiplied by this many more stringers. So this, I mean treads and risers, this stringer could have a hundred steps on it and it would still be at the same angle. All three of these would be at the same angle um, if you were working in this particular instance. However, the measurement on the bottom is going to grow a little longer and I really don't know why that is, but I checked the other one. And this one here that's 9 sixteenths of an inch on the one with only seven risers, it was a quarter of an inch. So this num this actually grew a little lar larger here, uh, even though the angle hasn't changed, and we still have the same gap. And if you um, uh, if you if you know the reason why that changed, or if I made a mistake with my uh, drawings here or my computer aided software, feel free to let us know. I am always to open to any uh, constructive criticism as long as it's constructive. Let's not get carried away. But the gap didn't seem to change here. So realistically on the longer stairway we still have the same angle. We just have a little variation, a little more at the bottom than we would uh, if it was a shorter stairway. And I can't really wrap my mind around the reason why that would be, just that it actually showed up in the drawing. So that is it for the video. If uh, when you're laying your stair stringers out and you're especially on a longer stairway, this is, isn't obviously going to be a bigger problem on a longer stairway if it's going to be the same angle. But if you want your stair treads to be as level as possible, make sure that you lay your stair stringers out to possibly within a 32nd of an inch if that's what it's going to take to create a nice level stair, stair step for the entire stairway.